ahead of Veterans Day, a new piece of technology is unlock unlocking possibilities for Minnesota veterans with degenerative disease diagnosis. WCCO's Aaron Hansazada went inside the <clears throat> Minneapolis VA hospital to witness a Woodbury veteran regain some independence. Good morning. Howdy, howdy. Vietnam veteran Dean Duffield is here at the VA for tuna. Hey, we're going to try some cool stuff with you today. His power scooter does what his body no longer can, though driving with his left-handed joystick is also becoming a challenge. The hand still works if it's below my waist. And his right hand doesn't function at all. It'd be a lot easier if my legs had gone first instead of my hands. Dean found out about his ALS a decade ago. It's just been a slow deterioration from there. We get the chance to really get to know our ALS patients really well and on a personal level because we're seeing them so often and dealing with such um, really emotional and sometimes really difficult, difficult things. His next option for driving the chair independently right, you can go ahead and push uh, your foot down towards the ground will be by foot. Okay, push forward. Sorry, it reminds me of using a skid loader. You do a full 360 to the right and a full 360 to the left. Please. And when that option fades away, this is kind of the very last option. His eyes. What we're looking for is for two um, white dots to appear here. Will be not only his windows to the world. All right, we're getting closer. But his tools to move okay. through it. So essentially, we're going to teach the machine what your eyes are like and how they move. Oh, I'm always up to trying something new. Huh? This is the ability drive. So it's all about moving your eyes and not your head. Giving Dean the ability to drive with the shift of an eye. They look through the screen at different arrows, forward, backward, left and right, and then they can drive using their eyes only. Keep holding it. Hold, hold, hold. Keep holding. Nice job. It takes a little getting used to it. Kind of wild, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it allows somebody who previously might not have been able to drive at all um, or get around in their community or even their house um, to all of a sudden have this independence to be able to move around. Dean is both a fast learner and a good sport. Going? Beautiful. Going? He's going straight. I really like it. Pretty much. Uh wild technology here. And as you can tell from Dean, it's, it's very taxing. It gets really tiring on your eyes. Tired eyes, but a sliver of optimism that perhaps the next phase of his disease will still hold a kernel of independence. Awesome. They've been real good to me. It just gives them a little bit of hope to kind of continue going. In Minneapolis, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. Awesome, Dean. The technology is primarily being used with ALS patients, but it could also work for those with MS and spinal cord injuries. The wheelchair technology costs $6,500. The VA will pay for it as long as it is medically necessary.